here we have the moment of truth. So what could possibly be in this envelope that's innovating? Well, let's go take a look, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Can anyone guess what this is? These are gliding strips. Alright. Now I'm going to see exactly how these work. I've never used it, but I'm going to give it a shot. Okay. These were a little long. Alright, so I had to snip at the end. had an 18, it would have been an issue, but these are the best things that I have ever spent my money on, these are rubber cutters, it's three in one tool, uh, the other two are wire strippers, uh, like a box cutter, exact knife type thing, and then obviously this can cut wood, it can cut PVC, it can cut anything see this is plastic but this cut through it like butter in one try this is the best way this is a do it all you, I found myself using this a lot for a lot of things this is the original blade I don't know how many things I have cut with this blade and it's still going strong there's actually blades inside this handle right here you pull this cap off you have about five blades in there so I don't see me changing this for about a year at least. Even though it's made in China, this thing is good, man. It cost me, I think it was like 20 bucks or 30 bucks. And you can get that at Walmart. Very well worth it. There is no cutting your rubber by mistake. And you know, cutting it crooked or not cutting it down flush. You got these little pieces of rubber hanging on it. So you get trail marks, none of that with this. Alright, so what I, I did was once I cut it down, there is a sticky vacuum plate over here that you can actually lay in there. But I didn't think it was gonna lay flush. So what I did was because it's a, it it slides in, I just clipped it on this. And I'm gonna show you. But right off the back, I noticed that this material is a lot more scrubbing potential than the actual pad. I wonder why I really didn't make his pads with this material. It would be interesting to see a pad made of this material. Probably I don't think it holds much water. I think that's why, but I don't see why he couldn't make this thing underneath that so it can hold more water. This is allows to hold more water with the addition of this. This doesn't have it, but the surface is a lot more, uh, it has a lot more scrubbing potential than this actual pad, which is pretty neat. So, what is it that I have? What am I showing you? These are actually colliding strips you can add to your high fly. Now, it's not bad, it's, it's bad enough that it makes your job easier. extra added feature when you have these underneath gliding on a hot day so that you don't have to worry about re-wetting the window because these gliding strips as you're squeegeeing off the beauty part about this you're squeegeeing the water off it's getting back on the gliding strips so you should never really have to re-wet the window ever with this you talk about saving time, man, Willie just saved us more time. Willie just put some bucks in our pocket, and y'all don't even know. From what I understand, Julian says these work great. Surprisingly, he thought it was going to get in the way of closing out, but he said it didn't. And I trust anything Julian says, because he's like me. He understands and, and, you know, just tells it like it is. But, all right, we're going to give this a shot. 